Hello and welcome to yet another update of enhancements and new features in Revit 2014. Uh, this uh, update is for some tools that we are going to discuss, especially the enhancements in the platform of Revit 2014. Uh, the first thing that we are going to discuss in this video tutorial is about these tools that you can see here in the, view, uh, in the status bar. Uh, the first tool that we are going to discuss, the enhancement tool that we are going to discuss here in the status bar is this tool. You can see over here. This tool is uh, the drag tool and over here if you, if you can see there are drag elements to selection and if you choose this it toggles. So right now is, it is in the on state. So what happens exactly, you can see the tooltip, it allows you to drag an element without selecting it first. Now let's try it, uh, this particular thing over here. Uh, this particular mode is on over here and we, there is one you can see the slab over here and we are going to use this drag selection over here to see how it works we are placing the mouse and simply we can drag it you know and this happens only because this mode is on now if you put it off now you see once you put the mouse over here it gets selected and the drag option does not work so what we do again is to enable the mode drag elements by selection now we choose it and now put it there and let's put it over here. Now see, that's the first one of this tool, the new enhancement, uh, the drag selection uh, elements on selection tool here in the Revit 2014. Another interesting uh, tool that I can see here in the status bar is this, uh, the select elements by face. Uh, we used to have a lot of difficulties in selecting elements when we talk about selecting, you know, uh, putting the cursor and let's see how selection can be made. Previously it was about the edges where you need to put the cursor and the objects used to get selected. But now uh, Revit has introduced another tool that called select element by face in the status bar when it is on. Wherever you put the cursor now you can see the object get selected. Now if you, I mean it means that uh, irrespective of where the cursor is, the element gets selected by if you put the cursor in the center of the face over here. Now, this is an amazing tool. I mean, it will help, you know, uh, it sometimes helps us to, you know, do quick uh, editing. In certain case, we need to do quick selection. In fact, we do not have to put the cursor on the edges that we used to do in the previous version. Now, another interesting, you know, tool that I can see over here is the select pinned elements. Oh, now that's again, it's a you know, very interesting tool over here. Now, what's a pinned elements? You know, the pinning is basically locking the position of uh, the building or any building element uh, that we see. If an element is pinned, so uh, what will happen is it will not move, in fact, uh, from its original position. So a uh, pinning element is, like how we can pin it? We go, we choose the, let's suppose we're choosing the wall, we want to pin it. We are choosing the pin tool over here and it gets pinned. Now it basically is, you know, uh, it's pinned. It will not move from its original position. So what happens, they allow you to select pin elements in a view. So if this tool is disabled, you cannot select the pinned element. You can select this wall, but you cannot select this because it is a pin element. Now what happens exactly, why this tool is so useful? Because sometimes, you know, uh, knowingly or unknowingly we need to choose uh, the uh, I mean uh, unknowingly the pin element gets selected in the selection and in order to avoid these types of selections we basically enable this tool again hats off to Revit 2014 new updates now another tool that I can see over here is in the status bar is uh, a very interesting tool called select underlay elements now let's see what select underlay element for this I need to change the uh, I, I'm in the ground floor plan over here. How can I see that these are the stairs in the underlaid? Means underlaid elements are elements which are not the you know um, current um, uh, elements in the current uh, level uh, in the floor plan. So in this case, the stair is a very good example. The underlaid element we can select the stair because this is on. So if you put it off. Uh, you can see you cannot select the stairs or neither of the walls are getting selected. The reason is these are all underlaid elements and they will not be selected if this mode is turned off. So that's wall, what's very interesting about Revit 2014 updates. Thank you and wish you a very happy Reviting and keep watching our videos. Thanks once again.